man, I really have to read this book and I just don't have the time. Hi, James from Ingvid. If you're like me, um, you have to read a lot of material. If you're studying English or you're learning English, um, you probably don't like to read, which is too bad because reading is one of the fastest ways to improve. Well, let's go to the board and find out. As you can see, E is running very quickly here, right? And he's trying to read. So we're going to learn to read faster today. And I'm going to teach you how to read faster with two different techniques. Um, and I'm going to teach you, you'll start to enjoy your reading. So we'll go to the board and we'll talk about reading, why it's important and uh, what we can do about it. The first thing I want to talk about with reading, reading helps to do a couple of things. Number one, it helps you to learn new things. When you read a book about philosophy, it teaches you about somebody's new idea or a new invention. It gives you new vocabulary. Many words, uh, in fact, they say if you don't understand 90% of the material, you won't understand it. But even just reading something, if you have a dictionary, will help you to go in, learn new vocabulary to understand materials. So it gives you new words, gives you an, a better or a wider way to speak. It helps you understand. Sometimes when someone says something, it's a little too fast. But then when you read it, you have time to read it, go back, read it, go back, read it and go, I got it. All right? It gives you time to look at the picture, the mental picture or the written picture. It gives you new ideas. Remember, you learn new things. Well, when you start adding idea from this book, idea from that book, you get new ideas of your own. You become more creative. The world becomes a richer place to live. And finally, because we're doing English, you learn how to speak a language. <laughs> like, stop. What do you mean? How do I learn to speak by reading? Well, for you people who are learning to speak a language, okay, reading shows you the structure that people use when they speak. Reading shows you new vocabulary or it shows you what we call the colloquial, the common person's way of speaking. You get all that from reading, how to say it, where to put the verb and the noun or the adjective, right? Cool. That's what it can do. And that's what's important to us. Our reading is going to teach us how to speak, but also it's good to be able to read in a country because I often say, if you cannot read in a language, you're stupid. And if you wonder what I mean, think about the guy who, when you give a simple sentence, like the cat went in the house, cannot read it, and or reads it like the cat went in, you go, the guy's stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid in your language. Don't be stupid in my language. So today we're going to work on a process to help you with reading. Now, as much as I said all these great things about reading, there are a couple things to be aware of, or actually, I don't have to tell you, you know, but I want you to know that I understand. So I'm putting it on the board. So you know what I'm going to teach you will help you overcome or help you solve that problem. Problem. Reading takes a long time. Well, in your own language, it takes some time, but if you're learning another language, it will always take you much longer to read because you have a problem of translating or skipping back and translating. Uh, translating, you know what I mean? You translate from the language you're looking at into your own language to understand it, then translate it back to that language. That's a lot of work. And if you think about how long that takes, it's like two different trips, like in, out, in, out, in, out for every word. That will take something that takes four minutes to read and make you read it for 20 minutes. And who wants to read one paragraph or five sentences and it takes 10 minutes and you still don't understand it? That's a problem. Another problem. You don't remember what you read. Do you remember when I said to you, um, you're reading up and down? So I'm going to put, sorry, I'm going to put problems because it's not just a problem, it's problems. <laughs> remember I said you translate, you go up and down and back and, back and forth, you keep going back. Well, what happens is you forget what you read because it's too much information to keep in your head, right? So you read up here, you read five sentences, you read, you go, okay, I got it. You read another five sentences and you go, oh, what were the first five? Because without that five, I don't understand this other paragraph. And now I'm getting confused, right? So you forget what you're reading, which leads to you don't understand what you read. You read it, you forget it, you don't understand it. These are terrible problems. So it's understandable why most people won't read a book if they're learning a new language. Like it's just way too much work for a little benefit. Now, I'm going to tell you, if we can speed up your reading, you will cut the time down so you could read a page in it. Well, if you're learning a new language, let's not say a page a minute, but maybe uh, every two, three minutes you can read a page instead of 10. That would be cool. You'll remember what you read because we're going to force your brain to stay on the subject 
and you'll understand it because if you're staying on the subject and the information stays in your head, then you can actually understand and keep it, keep it, remember it, and enjoy it. You can't enjoy what you don't understand, especially if you don't remember it, right? So let's try and fix that. And I have two techniques I'm going to teach you today that should help you improve by at least 50% by the time you've done reading, watching this video. Cool. And we can also, you know, show you other things later, but today I want to start, do these two to improve by at least 50% if you listen to what I say. Okay, the first technique is called grouping. And what I want you to do is we're going to work on taking... Oh, when you read right now, you do something called uh, subvocal reading. What? Subvocal reading means... It's, vocal means, you know, sound, and sub means below sound. So subvocal, it's in your head. When I read this book, for instance, I'm going to read, um, I propose to treat of poetry, to treat poetry of, but I say it in my head. So the same thing is I say it, I'm reading it, but in my head I'm saying, I propose to treat of ba ba ba. You don't really have to say the words, you can just look at them. Example, when I show you the cover of this book, you don't look here, then look here, then look here, then look here. You just look at the cover and you see this, all of it, at one time. But when you read, you do this. Part of the reason you do that, look at one word at a time, is when your mother or father taught you to read, they would read one word at a time. They would point to a word, easily, regarded, as, the, and say it to help you understand what the words sounded like and meant. And you learn to read that way, which was good. But unfortunately, now when you read even as an adult, you read the same way. So the first method I want to teach you is grouping. Now, because language, the English language may be new to you, or trying to read faster may be new to you, grouping, just take two words at the same time. So instead of saying easily regarded, I would just look at easily regarded. Then the next two words, as the. The next one, basic work. All right. So it'd be put your finger there, easily regarded, move it to the next two words, as the, basic work, on the. I'm getting the basic meaning of it, but I've almost doubled my speed because instead of looking twice, I look once. Not quite doubled because, as I said, you're learning, but you can look at the two words at one time. And the basic meaning is following, so you don't lose time. You'll remember it because you've cut down the time between each word and you will understand because the meaning is carried. Cool? All right. So we want to work on that. So I would suggest that you take a book, uh, something simple. You can take um, a kid's book if you want because the words are even bigger so it's easier to see two words at a time. And I suggest that. And go through reading for about 10 minutes or so. Just do that. Okay? Read two words at a time. Right? Time yourself for a minute, see how many words you read. Try and find a page that's equal and do that again to see what your words per minute is. All right? Cool. That's the first one. The next is pacing. Pacing in English is this. Like when you pace, you walk at a certain speed. I'm pacing myself. It means I move at a certain speed. The first method is good to get you started. Pacing is a secondary one. So I would suggest you do the grouping for a few days, maybe even a few weeks. Take your time because you might start going from two words at a time and notice that your eye actually includes a third word. And you won't have to try. Your eye will just travel to three words at the same time. And then after four words. And if you could do that, say, 10 minutes every day, slowly, 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 your eye will just take a picture of two words together, then three words, then four. And you'll find that your reading time is going down, your memory is going up, your understanding is going up. We call understanding comprehension, right? Your comprehension will go up. Do this for at least a week, maybe two weeks, 10 minutes every day, not once, that won't work. But if you did it right now, you'd notice an increase in your speed. And if you do it over time, it will become more permanent. Okay? Once you get comfortable with the grouping, I'm going to suggest you do something called pacing. Pacing is like, as I said, it's like if I'm running and I run at this, this is the pace. This is a different piece, pace, and I might change my pace. But pacing means keep the same speed at what you're doing. And pacing, we're going to use a magic tool. It's a very expensive tool, so I'm sorry. I mean, you're watching a video, and I'm going to tell you you have to buy this. Well, you don't have to buy it, but 
if you wanted to get this tool and use it off of like uh, Amazon or something, it might cost a million dollars. People don't even want to part for it for two million, even a billion dollars. You want to know what that thing is? Your finger. This is the expensive tool. Now, if that's too expensive for you because you can't use a finger, get yourself a pencil or a pen. All right. Now, I'm going to give you an example of what pacing would look like. When I talked about grouping, when you would be grouping, see how we're here? Don't look at the sentence. You would do this. You would look here, these two words, then these two words, right? That's one word, then you do these two words. Pacing is going to be different. When you pace, you could take your finger, this will be my finger, and you do this. If that's too fast, do this. There's an advantage to pacing because you might say, James, it's the same thing. Kind of. That's why I told you practice this first, because you're expanding your ability to see, or we call it your field of vision. You're looking at a longer line and giving your eyes the ability to see that whole line. Okay. So when we're going to move from pacing, from uh, grouping to pacing, there, it can be a slight problem. It happens to people. It's going back or bouncing back. Sometimes people go reading, reading takes a long time. You don't remember what you read. You don't understand, understand what you read. And sometimes they go, what? And they jump back up. Pacing kind of stops that because as you move your finger like this across the board, you don't jump back. You tend to just keep your eyes will follow where you're going and see everything. And because we've added, put the two words together and the three words together, it will go even faster. So you can start reading pages in a minute or under a minute as opposed to two or three. Kind of cool. I thought you'd like that. With just these two techniques alone, you can improve your reading now. In fact, you should get a book and start. But before you do that, I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to, I've got a little bit of a bonus and some homework for you. And we'll be back. You ready? Listen, uh, I mean, I basically explained what I wanted to at the beginning, but it wouldn't be in my video if you didn't get a bonus and homework. So you're back for the bonus and homework. Board's the same, which should be surprising most of you. Like, where's the magic? It always changes. The magic is, I'm still here, baby. Okay, so um, on the bonus, what I wanted to add was this. I told you you can at least increase your, your speed by 50% right away. But, you know, this is Ingvid. We don't do it like other people do. So let's try and double it today. So what I would like you to do, do you remember we talked about the pacing? Here's, it's going to be not so much fun, but it'll help. Take the pen and paper, because remember I told you, go get a book when we came back. Here's your opportunity to, to uh, test yourself. Remember I said pace like this? So here's what I want you to do, the reverse of what I was teaching you. What? You said group first. I, yeah, I know. But I want you to pace on the page, but I want you to pace really, 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 really fast. Really, 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 really fast. Just really fast. Not incredibly, no, 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 don't go crazy, but faster than it's comfortable. You, it won't be comfortable. You're like reading things. Like, oh, it's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, not comfortable. You can see the words, but not comfortable. You're not taking it in. Then I want you to go back and I want you to group. You might notice almost automatically, you can see almost three words without trying because you force your eyes to move very quickly at a pace of something. And then you go, no, just take snapshots, take snapshots or take a quick picture. And you probably will notice that combined to your normal pace or your normal speed, you've picked up speed. And you're like, how did that happen? Well, a friend of mine told me some time ago what he used to do with uh, languages or tapes, or if he wanted to get it, he would actually turn it up from one to 1.5. And it was fast and it would be uncomfortable. He didn't quite get it. But when he slowed it down to normal speed, it was very easy to hear all the differences in the sounds that he was learning. He sped his brain up. So I'm telling you, speed your brain up. Then when you slow down to a comfortable speed, you'll notice your brain can absorb the language faster. Don't thank me. It's what I do for a job. <laughs> okay, so that's your bonus. And for homework, what, uh, what I'd like you to do is you can go on. Um, now, I've got, to, I've got to look at something, so I don't want to mess you up on this, okay? You can go on the internet, and you can just look for uh, one-minute readings, okay? Words per second. One-minute reading, word per second. 
Look for that because there are many places where they will have a page and the page will be for one minute, so you don't have to do anything special. Set a clock for a minute. And they actually have, if you read this far, it's 15 words. If you read this far, it's 20 words. If you read this part, so you will know how many words you read in a, in, in a minute. The average person, I believe, is like 300 words a minute. Um, but you can do, or yeah, I think it's, yeah, 300. And that's decent. That's pretty good. That's in your own language, not in English. But if you can start going there three to 600, you can read books in hours not days, not weeks. And the knowledge that's sitting there for you, remember I said you can learn new things, get new ideas, learn to speak a language, learn to understand more. It's just waiting for you. So you got the book in front of you. I told you to get it. I told you if that's too hard, the technique I just taught you in your bonus, do the grouping right away. Just try and do two words at a time. Practice that five, 10 minutes, then stop. You're done. Do it tomorrow. It's about building the habit and getting in the habit of your eyes seeing more and more and then expanding that until it becomes easy for you. Then do pacing, race through. If you want to push yourself in that day, read five minutes, as I said, then do the pacing first, then look at the grouping and notice that your eyes will expand in what they can see and you can take more information and continually grow. It's an old thing to be said, but it's true. I don't care about your perfecting it. I care about your progress. So if you can do two words from this month, next month, three words, four words, in your grouping and so on. By the end of the year, you're reading whole sentences in a second. 75 sentences in a page. You can read a page in, in a minute or five, 10 seconds. I mean, people, some people can do it. I'm not one of them, but it's up to you where you want to go with this, right? You've got the techniques. You've got the will because you're coming and looking at this video. Make it yours. Anyway, that's that for now, but uh, I'd like you to subscribe. And when you do so, there's a bell on the side. Make sure you ding that bell because some people have been saying, I never get the latest thing. I don't see it. It's like every two weeks, we're hitting you with something new or my videos. And actually almost every day, every three days, there's something new coming from Ingvid. You hit that bell. You're going to get it on your email, on your text. You're going to be seeing, boom, this is what's coming out. This is for you. We're here to help you here and now. All right. So hit that on the subscribe button. Don't forget to go to the website because now you've got a reading challenge. See what other people are doing. Are they at 300 words, 250? Kick some butt. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.